But then who was more butthurt? Both of us. No, I was. I was Come butt on. hurt too. See, you're lying again. We're no, nervous. you are. You are. You're more argumentative than I am. No, you're by far more argumentative than I am. I'll say something and you're like, well, that's not always true. You got your werewolf face going. He argues about everything. Do you want to divorce me? Yeah. Chris and I had a big plan to come and like do a snowshoe adventure. Oh. And we're here. I mean, we have our snowshoes, but on the way up here, we kind of had like a bit of a fight. And, um, I mean, it wasn't physical. I call arguments fights. He doesn't like that, but I mean, I just have always done it my whole life. But bottom line is, relationships are tough. Especially when you've been in a relationship for probably over five to eight years. I mean, you get to know a person a lot better not that you can ever really know someone, but I mean, I feel like I know Chris pretty well and Chris knows me pretty well. We're lucky like that and we're lucky to have each other. But I'm not gonna lie, right now I'm feeling a little, what's the word, butthurt? Or just bummed. I mean, we're in this beautiful spot. It's not as beautiful as summer, but I mean, you take advantage of the Montana winter and you snowshoe. And, I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere right now. It's beautiful and we're supposed to be like getting along and we're not exactly getting along we're starting to like come around but um we got up here and i just wanted to be by myself and it's important to know that relationships are like that do i love chris yes am i gonna stick by his side yes are we gonna have future tough times yes is it because of the age gap that we fight probably not i think couples just fight in general it's really hard for me to want to get over the situation right now and I'm the one who needs to pull my head out of my butt because Chris is trying to get over the whole thing a lot quicker than I am but I'm not basically what happened is on the way up here I was trying to vlog and Chris was kind of I felt like being a downer I was like hey where are we going Chris and he's like why don't you just tell him yourself and I was like, whoa, what's up with the negative energy? And it just put me in a funk. And I wasn't, I don't know if mad is the right word. I guess I've just been in a funk. I've been more just down. Just wanting to be by myself because that's how I deal with things. I usually want to be by myself. I'm actually a loner sometimes, guys. Girls, thems. Um, but it's important to know, life is tough. So what we're going to do and what I need to do is pull my head out of my butt um, and I need to grow up. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I need to love the man that loves me. He's over there. Where is he? I don't even hardly see him. What? Snow fell off of a tree and blew all over me. A big lump of snow. It's actually no. getting to that point where it's kind of not as fun. It's kind of getting colder. Yeah. Doesn't this... Isn't there one that goes down along by the lake on the way back? Um, yeah. I told him that we were fighting. Well, I called Arguing. Him, yeah, I told him that we disagree with that word. So what happened? I guess I was a little pisser. I mean, it takes two... How about you asking? Like, so tell him what we're doing today. And I felt like, a, I don't know, like I'm a little kid being drug along. I don't know. You didn't like it and you were kind of mean to me, I felt. Well, I didn't know I was being mean, but... What did you say? I don't know. I said, you just tell him. Instead of using up the film time. Not in that nice of voice. Oh, I didn't. I said, you just tell him. That's what I did then. Okay, Which that's is... what I did. But then who was more butthurt? Both of us. No, I was. I was Come butthurt on. too. I know, but we um came up here. We didn't film the beautiful view. We didn't talk on the way up here, period. Didn't even speak. What happened when we got here? You left. I, I went ahead, but I was waiting for you. Not really. I, I kept. I waited for you like at five different points because I was going so far. Yeah. But then who got over it quicker? Me. That's generally the case. He usually gets over something a little quicker than I do. And then I, I don't know, I just go into my own zone. I just want to be by myself. That's how I've dealt with everything. And I'm thinking, well, why didn't I just go by myself if we're going to be out here alone? Our relationships easy f no do you want to divorce me 
Not at the moment. Not at the moment. I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly. Do you still love me? Yeah. Is this pretty normal? Was I butt hurt? Yep. Was I butt hurt? Yep. I was not. I was happy. You were butt hurt. Yes, I was. Left, I was butt hurt. Left my ass in the snow. I think I was the more butt hurt one. Yeah, I didn't leave you. I just you went ahead on me. the trail. Hey, man, we're on the same trail. What if there was a a bear? A, a bear is gonna be path hibernating. And you went one way, and I just went the other. And no, we never saw because each other again. I was ahead, but I could see you. For me, if I'm angry, it's gonna do me more good to walk away and then to talk when I'm in a better state of mind. Otherwise, I'm gonna say stuff or I'm just gonna react. So you're talking, than, so now you're in a better state of mind? Well, I mean, yeah, just getting away from you for a little while. Mm, okay. Have time to think to myself and, and I think it's good because I start reflecting on myself and I'm like, okay, well, I'm a dick. I'm the one that's being a butt hurt person in this way. I'm butt hurt too, I'm part of this. Did you think you were completely innocent in this? No. And I was definitely not innocent either. It takes two to, how I say, tangle. But everyone comments, no, it's tango. This is what I was doing. Way ahead of that. I was definitely alone. But it, people see us, dude, and they think that we're a perfect relationship. Oh, they probably don't. Well, maybe, I think some people do, though. I think it's mixed. I want to look through the overlook. Oh, okay. That's where the lake is, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Well, that's the river. We're above the lake. That's where the stream comes in. The lake's that way. We had like a big plan to like show you nature and seriously, the drive up here was beautiful and I just couldn't even get my camera out. I was too butt hurt. You can show them with a the man with a dog. That can be nature. Man with two dogs. He's way far away. I'm not seeing much up here, are you? No. We saw five Canada geese and two gulls of some sort. That's the bird life. That was it, folks. There's only angry birds up here. Yeah, that was about it. Angry birds. That guy has four dogs. Five dogs. How can you feed that many dogs? It'd be expensive. It's cheaper than kids, dude. <laughs> yeah, at least dogs don't have to go to school and college. I need to like, I have snot. That's why it's hard to talk. Dude, would you like a Kleenex? I have, I I'm have I'm good, them. I'm good now. Cause I always know that I got boogers up my face. What's up dog? You're a beautiful dog. You got your werewolf face going. Yes, we fight sometimes. Argue. Argue. If you don't quit that, I'm gonna argue with you about fighting. You're more argumentative than I am. No, you're by far more argumentative than I am. You I'll are. I'll say something and you just try to say something just to counter it. Or prove that there's an exception to what I just said. He argues about everything. I'll say something and you're like, well that's not always true. And he like, if I use like a word differently, he's like, that's not the real meaning of that word. Fighting, we are not fighting. We are arguing. It's like, well, I mean, contexts of words change. And that's how I grew up saying fight. Well, you were wrong. I can't help it. Can we both be right? No, only I can be right. You're mean. No, I really am gonna eat your pizza. You haven't forgiven me yet? I forgive you. He hasn't forgiven me. Take I just said I forgive you. Forgive me. I forgive He's you. lying. You're just lying I about you forgiving back there. me. Seriously, you don't think I forgave you? Because I told you I was going to eat your pizza. That's why, huh? I made pizza last night. Homemade. Homemade crust. He said he wasn't into it, so I was like, well, I'll, I'll eat it. I said I'm not into it. What are you doing? You didn't talking like about? it. See, you're lying again. You didn't like it. You're lying a third time. You you're didn't just like, like it. A, you're just, what happened? Did you all of a sudden flip on this lying switch? Chris, you know I was going to let you eat it. I'm a balanced guy. I wasn't going to eat your pizza. I was joking. I know. You're a Libra. We're going back home now. But now we got the fire. Now we feel better. We got some exercise. I got out of the house. I was stir crazy. Tell them the scary story that happened. The night we watched the horror movie and we woke up at the exact same moment because we thought we heard something. Yeah, we heard someone say something. Like between us. <laughs> That's what was weird. <laughs> So it was before Halloween, and what were we watching? Was it Ouija board or was it uh, the Conjuring series? It was one or, one or the other. 
I can't remember. Anyways, there's like demons and stuff and possessions. And then we go to sleep and for some reason we kind of like separated on the bed. You know, you were on one side, I was on the other side. And we both like woke up and looked, <laughs> we looked at each other and we're like, who what? said that? It wasn't it a woman? Mm -hmm. It was like a woman with a crazy voice like in between us. And we both thought, thought it was like a demon or something like talking or I don't know. I didn't ever use the word demon. Uh, a lady talking in our bed in between us? That's got to be a demon. It's got to be something There's crazy. There's no D on the end of that. It's got to be a demon. But yeah, I thought I heard something and like you thought you heard something and we it woke us both up. So we don't have a clue what it was. This is creepy. What's creepy? Me? This shot. With the um, mirror, you can see that creepy painting in the back. This girl right there, she continues to look at you. I'll move over on this side and she'll... See, she's still looking at us. Come on, don't be afraid. Blink. Blink. Do you not think she's kind of creepy? That does look scary from back here through the screen. It looks flesh colored. <laughs> it's like weird. Why would we have both heard a woman at the same time is what is weird. In between us on our bed, it sounded more like evil. Well, yeah. It didn't sound... It didn't sound normal. I don't know what a demon actually sounds like, but it did not sound like a nice voice. It was so creepy. It was this... It was the universe telling us we should not be watching so many dang horror movies. That's about the only thing I'd really miss about the cold. It's just having a fireplace. Yeah, I like having a fireplace. It brings life to a room. But we've been hanging out on the floor, just laying, and we just watched <laughs> Stranger Things, and uh, we made dinner. We had a good dinner together. And then tomorrow's a new day. Every day is a new and, day. <laughs> and I was actually talking about marriage a little bit because that's something that might happen. We have an afternoon of arguing, then he's wanting to talk about <laughs> marriage again. It's all about the long haul. You're gonna have like flat tires, right? And also- well, you're like walking way away. But everyone. we're both taking responsibility for our actions. A couple where both people take responsibility for their actions. I feel like that's a pretty good couple. <laughs> I, I reacted in a way that really there was no call for it. So did I. <laughs> uh, you were trying to like make up at the beginning. I like, I was like walking really fast on the trail, which I usually do, but I usually let you catch up. You were walking away <laughs> intentionally is what you were doing. <laughs> It definitely wasn't just cause you were walking fast. I think I do it naturally um fast, but I definitely today was making sure it was gonna happen. <laughs> you go way on up ahead and you turn around to make sure I was still alive and following you. When I'm I know. I when I'm in you. a in a bad mood, I just need to go and play guitar and hang out by myself. I feel like it makes me a better person. And what do you usually do? You fix your feelings with your stomach. My ass should be four feet wide. <laughs> it is true. I swear, the times when it's really tough, you're like, you end up making some fancy dinner. <laughs> for yourself, but then you're like, do you want it? And I'm like, no. And if there's any Lay's potato <laughs> chips in the house, those, those suckers are done in. They are done for. But when we were mad, I didn't throw out, hey, Chris, we're done. We're over. We're breaking up. I think that's toxic. <laughs> Unless you're planning to really break up with someone and stay like that, don't throw that out there. I mean, words are powerful, and that's like the most extreme thing you could say. So that's something that we don't say. Towards the beginning, we never broke up with each other, but we would have like a tough time and be like, we don't know how this is gonna work. And then we're like, oh, we better be more precise with our words and not say something that could be hinted like that. Because that's toxic, it is. I know, I'm, I'm a stubborn dude sometimes, I really am. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and support this channel, like this video. Hit the little notification oh, button yeah. so that you'll get a notification that there's a video put up by Wild Russ and Chris and that they're still together. Of course we're together, huh? Come on. <laughs> I thought it'd be interesting to film some of like the tension. <clears throat> That's all. 
You got a taste of it, but that's that's a relationship. That's enough. There's 365 days in the year. It's gonna happen at least once or twice or three times or 50. <laughs> <laughs> know that your own poop stinks. It doesn't happen 50 times, does it? In a year? I don't know. I don't know. I've never counted, but it does seem high, doesn't it's it? It's enough. Why us? And Chris. Love, Love you a long, long time. time. So I put this on my computer. It says, wow, well, Russ, love you a long time. Really cool design. Kevin Douglas gave them to us. He gave us a whole bunch. He made them. He's got a company called Crazy Moose Gifts. Thank you so much. Those are really cool. They really are cool and they mean a lot and we will make sure to put these on our car. We're not gonna put every one of them on the car because it would be totally plastered with them. We have to put the car tag on anyway. The, it, it expired, so the little thing I bought it. We're driving around today with an, an expired, expired tag. tag. Uh oh, <laughs> expired on the. That's 31st. why. That's why we were fighting. The universe knew. Mm -hmm. There's the be tension. Out. Oh, that. That's why. Mm.